Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the part 2 of levels of organization in ecology. In the first part we have discussed about 6 levels of organization of which individual, population, community and in this video let's discuss about the ecosystem. ecosystem. So ecosystem is defined as the structure and functional unit of biosphere consisting of community of living beings and physical environment both interacting and exchanging materials between them okay ecosystem is a structural and functional unit of biosphere okay biosphere is a part of earth where living organisms are present okay biosphere it consists of both community of living beings and physical environment and both are interacting with each other okay the let's discuss about now the components of the ecosystem there are two components in the ecosystem. These are called abiotic components and biotic components. Abiotic means without life. That means non-living components. These are energy, rainfall, temperature, atmosphere, substratum, that is soil, latitude, altitude. These components has a great influence on the living organisms in any ecosystem. Okay, and biotic components. These biotic components includes primary producers. These are plants. Uh, this includes plants, uh, some bacteria and blue-green algae and second, secondary producers, saprophytes and heterotrophs. These are two different components in an ecosystem. Okay, let's discuss in detail about the abiotic components that is non-living components of the ecosystem. The first thing among this is energy. Energy, every organism on the earth needs energy. So sun is the primary source of all energy on the planet. So with the help of sun's energy the plants produce their own food with the help of photosynthesis and so this is called autotropes along with the plants some of, some of the bacteria and blue green algae has the capacity to produce their own food with the help of sunlight okay this is the one factor which is important factor abiotic factor then the second factor is rainfall okay rainfall in association with temperature has influenced greatly uh, almost all the ecosystem on the planet uh, for example uh, if there is a more there is more rainfall and optimum temperature of 30 degree we will find terrestrial ecosystem like a, a tropical evergreen forest okay and in the same way if there if the rainfall rainfall is very less and temperature is very high we will find there is desert ecosystem desert ecosystem so in this way rainfall and temperature has a significant influence on biotic components okay and then the atmosphere so atmosphere is the one of the sphere of the earth okay uh, and it includes and it, it sustains the biosphere that is living part of the earth atmosphere includes various gases like oxygen which accounts for 21 percent and nitrogen 78 percent and other gases like carbon dioxide which is also important for the from the point of view of photosynthesis and global warming so atmosphere sustains life and if there is any variation in this in the component of atmosphere there will be an equilibrium and this will lead to unavoidable consequences like climate change and global warming as we are witnessing today so the fifth factor is substratum substratum includes soil microbes and fungi soil is the single most deciding factor for the plant growth okay if the soil is well fertile it can sustain diverse plant species and which in turn can sustain different range of animal species so soil is also one of the important biotic, abiotic component and another things include organic and inorganic materials uh, inorganic materials like uh, nitrogen potash phosphorus and potassium calcium magnesium sulfur these are the macronutrients which are essential for the plant growth okay inorganic uh, components like humus is also essential for the plant growth so in this way they they contribute to the growth of the ecosystem with a with a healthy interaction okay and latitude and altitude is also one of the important component which which influence the ecosystem in a great way as we learn in our um, in our geography classes okay so the second component second uh, component of the ecosystem that is the biotic component that is living component let's discuss about this a bit there are, there are producers which produce their own food these are called autotrophs because they has the capacity to produce their own food auto means self okay 
and this includes green plants, bacteria, algae. Okay, then the consumers. Among consumers, there are two different types. One is macro consumers and the micro consumers. The macro consumers are the primary consumers, includes includes deer, antelope, which feed on the green plants. Okay, these are the primary consumers since it feeds on the green plants directly. Okay, then the secondary consumers which feed on the primary consumers. These are wolf, fox, hyena. Okay, then tertiary consumers which has the ability to feed on both secondary and primary consumers. This includes lion, tiger, cheetah and another consumer omnivores. This, this feed on both plant source as well as the animal source. For example, man and deer. And another co component here is micro consumers. These are called saprophytes which feed on dead and decayed plant and animal matter within the soil. They help in recycling the soil and also sustain the nutrient cycle like uh, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium cycle in the soil. Uh, so bacteria, fungi, earthworms, nematodes and the arthropods. These are also important component for plant growth. So these are all the things related to biotic and abiotic components. And in other ways, the ecosystem can be classified into two different types. One is a terrestrial ecosystem, that is the land ecosystem. It includes forest, grassland and desert ecosystem and other ecosystems. And the second thing is aquatic ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem which includes freshwater and freshwater ecosystem, saline ecosystem, marine ecosystem. Uh, this is freshwater and uh, saltwater ecosystems. So this is it about the ecosystem part of the levels of organization that is the fourth level of organization. That is the fifth level I am going to cover in the next video that is biome and the sixth level will also be covered in the separate video that is biosphere. So for the previous videos about this please click here on the playlist. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching.